Rito. S sorry. Why are you apologizing? That white flower. I told you I would look into it, but I still don't know the name. Don't worry about it. I'm not in a rush or anything. Thank you for continuing to search for it. I will definitely find it. I will show you that blooming flower. So wait. Okay, I'll wait. But don't push yourself. Just do it when you have time. Uh, uh, wait. Hmm? What? Um... Huh. It looks like she wants to say something. I feel bad for putting pressure on her, so I'll wait a little. <sighs> um... How... is your stomach feeling recently? Uh, my stomach? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess I haven't had much of an appetite lately. You... should take some medicine. Thanks, I will. How did you know my stomach wasn't feeling well? My power... Oh, that's right. You're clairvoyant. So you have the ability to see inside my body. I do my best not to look into people's bodies, but it's hard to control. Sometimes I catch a glimpse. That's a useful power, but it sounds a little gross. That must be hard, Sugumi. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have looked without permission. Oh, don't worry about it. You seeing my organs is less embarrassing than if you saw me naked. Also, you told me because you were concerned. So, thanks. But... I still shouldn't have done it. Huh. How come you're always so hard on yourself? It happened a long time ago, when I was little. I wasn't as good at using my power then. I saw a lot that I shouldn't have. Inside bodies, inside rooms, people's secrets, things I didn't want to see. I didn't know it was bad, and I saw something my friend was hiding. <laughs> I told everyone about it. And my friend and all the adults were afraid of me. I was alienated. Everyone hated me. I didn't want people to hate me anymore, so I became afraid to talk to anyone. So I... I'm always careful not to see or talk about people's secrets, but... That sounds pretty terrible. Yeah, I did a bad thing. That's not what I mean. You were just a kid. There was nothing you could do. Those adults should have known better. I'm sorry that happened to you when you were little. Um... Uh, um... But it wasn't all bad. Really? From what I just heard, it sounds terrible. I didn't have any human friends. But my grandpa taught me about plants. My grandpa liked bonsai. And he knew a lot about plants. He taught me that plants are friends who don't talk. Friends who don't talk? Yes. Well, not with words anyway. But with the shape of their branches or the state of their leaves, they can tell us a lot. And when we're sad, they're always silently by our side. When I heard that, I started to like plants too. I see. Your grandpa sounds really nice. <laughs> Thanks for the talk, Sugumi. Thank you for listening. Take care of yourself. Yeah, I will. Friends who don't talk, huh? Well, Sugumi doesn't talk much either, but she cares a whole lot. I guess liking plants is something we have in common. Are there any... problems? Um... I think things are fine right now. If you need anything, just tell me. I want to help you. I may not be very useful, but I'm here for you. Are you going somewhere, Gemma? 
I'm going to Sumeragi tomb to pay my respects. I have a friend buried there. I'm sorry for going at a time like this. I plan to come back as soon as possible. Sumeragi tomb? Would you mind if I tagged along? I've never been out with you before, and I like going there. I don't mind. Shall we go then? Gemma hasn't come back yet. I guess paying your respects isn't something you rush. Maybe I'll go get my fortune told while I'm waiting. Oh, that Pocky collaboration should still be going on. Whoa! Sorry to keep you waiting. What's the matter? Is that a fortune? The fortune came with a Baki keychain I didn't have yet! You really do love this Baki. I mean, look how cute he is! Such a round and adorable face. Are those popular? Sorry, I just can't relate to young people. Yeah, really popular. They're often featured in magazines. They're so popular, they have a collaboration with Sumeragi too. Do you want to give it a try? No, I'll pass. We've been here long enough. I had a lot to share since I hadn't been here in a while. You said you were here to see a friend. Can I ask who's grave? Some friends of mine. My parents, too. My family originally had a separate grave, but we moved them to this communal tomb since we're dismantling our own. Dismantling? I don't have any siblings or children. Since the Garrison family will end with me, there's no more need for individual graves. But you could have children in the future. I heard there are a lot of people who get married after retiring from the OSF. I'm sure a lot of people do, but I don't know anything beyond fighting. Besides, I could die in battle before I get to retire, just like my friends buried here. You haven't retired yet, but you're already thinking about your life ending? My actual age is already past 50. I think it's normal for OSF members my age to be thinking about their closing chapters. Really? I didn't think 50 plus was an age you'd be thinking about this kind of stuff yet. Besides, you could still fall in love. Nobody knows what could happen in the future. Fall in love? I don't think so. Although, I guess I can't say it's completely impossible. Yeah, there's still a possibility. You never know what might happen if you try new things. You might realize you shouldn't be wasting your time acting all old. Do I act old? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I am actually old, after all. That's what I'm talking about. That right there. It's not good. I mean, you should just be more positive about this. We're children of the state. Try incorporating your inner child. Inner child? Like how? You better not suggest kick the can or spinning tops. No, I'm not talking about what they did in ancient times. I mean more like trying out the latest trends. Latest trends? No, I'm too... Actually, this magazine that had a feature on Baki made a list of trendy new restaurants and foods. I'm kind of interested, so do you want to go with me sometime? To be honest, I'm not all too interested, but I can see how you're doing this for me. I guess I could try it once. Great! I'll look into it then. Thanks, Gemma. No, oh, I should be the one thanking you. I'm stating the obvious, but you're young. Well, I'm younger than you. I know I was young once too. I just can't really remember it. You should cherish this time while you have it. Yuito, thank you for coming. You look well. Oh, yeah, uh, you look well, too. <laughs> Just talk normally. It's not like I'm your boss. I guess that's true. Okay, I will. Um, what did you want to talk about? Actually, I want to ask you about Gemma. We fought together when he was in Kyoka Platoon. We fight on different sides now, so I was wondering how he's doing. Gemma seems fine, but now that you mention it, he does look tired sometimes. That's what I was worried about. 
He can be too serious and awkward. Maybe he should pick up a hobby or something to take his mind off of work. You really do care about your friends. It makes me kind of jealous of Gemma. It would be encouraging to have someone who cared that much about my well-being. Well, now you're making me embarrassed. You never had someone like me to hover over you? My father and brother were always busy with work. The servants were nice to me. But I didn't have someone as kind as you to take care of me. Not since my mom died. I'm not as kind as all that. It's just that my friends who fight with me in the OSF are the same as family. Even when we're apart, I always wonder if everyone's alright. Also, Gemma isn't the only one I'm concerned about. I worry about you too. What? Me? Of course. Since we're both here, let me check up on you. You're not sick or anything? Uh... No. I've been pretty busy, but I feel pretty good now. Really? Well, no matter how busy you are, make sure to eat three meals a day and stay warm when you sleep so you don't catch cold. Oh, right. I got a really good charm recently. Um, where did I put it? No, that's fine. You don't have to worry that much. This is kind of embarrassing. Is this what it's like to have a mother hovering over you? Oh, really? That's too bad. But okay. We should talk again sometime. See you later. Why is Kyoka so kind to me? It's not like I was in her platoon or talked with her very much. About time. Told you not to make me wait. <laughs> You'd complain no matter how fast I got here. So, what do you want to talk to me about? I'm looking for something. Did Captain Seto leave a package with you? Captain Seto? No, he didn't. <laughs> he had said he wanted to give me something. He couldn't keep that promise. But if he left it for me somewhere, I'd like to have it. Oh. So it's like a keepsake, then? That's right. He didn't give it to you. So do you have any idea where he would put something like that? Hmm... Maybe the hideout. I don't remember anything like that, though. Maybe you saw it, but you just forgot. I guess, maybe. I don't even know what it is. It must be some kind of small package or box. I think. Just go check the hideout again. Hang on. You want me to look for it? I don't have time for that. I don't have time either. You can use your psychokinesis to search faster, can't you? You're the perfect man for the job. He's acting all high and mighty. He should be more humble if he's asking a favor. But if there really is a gift for Shiden, Captain Seto would be happy if I gave it to him. Fine, I'll look, but don't pout if I can't find it. What? I don't pout. I'm not a kid. Just get going. You're back. Did you find something? Yeah. I found a case with your name written on it in a corner of the hideout. I don't know if it's what you're looking for. Let me see. This is a battle mask. Captain Seto left this for me. So it was a gift from him. Is that a card in there with it? Yeah, looks like it. Dear Shiden, I'm sorry I couldn't put you in my platoon. This doesn't make up for it, but here's a gift. This mask contains special electrodes that will make it easier to control the direction of your electrokinesis. It's the same type as mine, but yours is specially made. I hope you like it. Shiden, you are the hardest worker I've ever seen in the OSF. I know you'll continue to grow stronger, so trust in your own strength. I know you'll be even better than me. I don't plan on losing, though. We'll be good rivals. I can't believe he thought so highly of me. Damn it. There was so much I wanted to learn from him. You were good friends with Captain Seto. He was the only one in the OSF who saw something in me. He was a very special person. I only fought with him for a short time. 
but I know that he was an amazing man. He was calm, dependable, and kind to everyone. I want to be like him someday. You want to be like Captain Seto? You say it like anyone can do it. If someone like you could be like him, I would have been just like him a long time ago. What's wrong with you? I understand you think highly of him, but I work hard too. You don't get it, rich boy. Just working hard won't get you very far in this world. I can't believe you think you can get to his level. You have no idea what you're talking about. Fine, I won't say it anymore. You got your gift, so I'm out of here. Hey, wait! <sighs> what? I haven't thanked you for finding this mask yet. Well done. Was that his idea of a thank you? I did it for Captain Seto. Tell me if you need me again. <laughs> if I feel like it. He's pompous, rude, and really mean. But he's not all bad, I guess. If I'm as open-minded as Captain Seto, will I see him differently? reading near here. Use SAS to find us. Yeah. Oh. 